Hello, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope everybody's having a good time. I made the turkey this morning and what I do is uh, I make stuffing and stuff the turkey and in my stuffing I use, uh, I start this boil the water about, because uh, we're going to use about three boxes so uh, I put about four cups of water to start off with, boil it and uh, cut up some onions, about a half an onion, and dice it in, uh, and then um, a little bit of celery, and then I put some apples, I put a, a, a full apple, cut the apple up in little pieces and add it into the stuffing. But before I, um, <clears throat> before I do that, I boil the water with the base, uh, with the base, uh, beef base on, in it, you know crumble it up make sure it, it gets dissolved and then I add the stuffing to it I'm sorry I just missed one step I add the onions in there after I add the after it starts boiling I add the onions in there then I add the stuffing uh, I let the onions boil for about a minute to soften them up and then I add the stuffing and mix it together and then add the apples in there and mix it together and let it cook for a little bit and then keep stirring it, stirring it, dipping it up. And uh, once it's finished, I do that the night before I stuff the turkey. I'll put the stuffing in the refrigerator to make it cold. So when I stuff the turkey, it'll be the same temperature as the turkey. And uh, cause that way you won't be able to, uh, what, you, what you're doing is like, this is called RTE or ready to eat foods. And a lot of people get sick during uh, Thanksgiving times because of cross-contamination issues. And that's what you would be doing. You would actually be start processing the cooking process inside the turkey if you was to put that stuffing in the turkey hot while the turkey is cold. <clears throat> unless you were going to put it in the oven immediately. But even then, you're starting to cook it in a temperature that's not consistent with the surroundings of the, the original temperature that you're trying to get to. And... Uh, you, it's called danger zone anything between 40 to 135 degrees is a danger zone so you want to cook this turkey and uh, poultry is 165 degrees so you would want to actually cook this turkey to about 175 to 180 internally uh, just to make sure if it was done or not I usually do about 175 that's 10 degrees over what they recommend and Butter is important. You'll what you'll do is melt butter. That way, it's not dry. The meat is all tender in there. See, it's all tender and in and, and soft, and it's all nice. And I pulled it apart for us to look at, but it was like all nice and thing. And then this is real soft. You see how you can touch it and feel it and soft. It's not blowing up like in uh, vacation times. <laughs> that was funny. If you guys ever seen that Christmas vacation, please check it out. My younger viewers. It is a funny movie, one of the funniest movies. So anyway, you would paint the, it will be raw, mind you. You'll paint it, you'll stuff the little turkey, put all the stuffing in them, put the little stuff in there, put the little stuffing on the little wings and such. <clears throat> and one important thing, before you do any of the process, after you defrost this turkey, there will be inside of there, the gizzards, the heart, all that stuff will be inside a bag. So you make sure you pull that bag out of there and then sometimes they'll put plastic like that to keep the legs together. See that? How they keep the legs together. You wanna take that plastic out of this. It's a base plastic. Do not cook it with that. Okay, Ashley needs my help. But this is our turkey and I just wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everybody and uh, praise be to God and all the glory that he brings to us for giving us these blessings in these troubled times but uh i've been trolling the nfl and things like that and i've been calling people out and stuff but today is a day where we're gonna all have to get together and just enjoy our lives together and uh help each other and spread love and joy to the the word of god and i bless everybody here thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful thanksgiving